Hello everybody, this is Drew Naylor and welcome to part 4 of my short video series on how to, uh, or on uh, the Nintendo DSi shop. Now on March 31st, 2017, you'll no longer be able to purchase things on the DSi shop. The current date is March 30th, March 30th, 2017. And as I have only 100 DSi points, I can't purchase anything. So that part of this video series is out, is completely out of the question. I mean, if there was some way that I could add DSi points, I would, but I can't. As of October 1st, 2016, it is no longer possible to add Nintendo DSi points to either uh, to the DSi shop using either a credit card or a DSi points card, so I can't do that anymore. And you actually cannot push, you can't use the buttons, like the A or B buttons to do anything, you have to touch the screen. Unlike on the Nintendo 3DS, I think the 3DS, I know for sure the Nintendo Switch eShop, uh, and probably the 3DS as well, you don't have to use um, the touch screen for everything. But now what I'm going to do, or in the previous video, I showed what was in the shopping guide on part on the uh, second page of the index. Now I'm going to go into settings and show you what's in settings. Oh, okay. So there's a few things in settings. You've got your account activity, titles you've downloaded, and settings and features. I'm probably going to go this way. Go from bottom to top to show you what's in those. Now in settings and features, we've got the all important setting of removing your DSi shop account. And I'm not doing that because, because then I would never be able to get anything um, back that I have downloaded. I mean, I would never be able to download those products again that I purchased a long time ago. And well, I mean, because the DSi shop is going away, that would kind of be a waste to do that. Now, uh, I, oh, I'm going to go back under settings, go under titles you've downloaded, and this shows the games that I've downloaded. Yes, it really loads that slowly. And I'm on a... Um, pretty decent broadband connection. Well, this is wireless, but anyway. On the top it says titles you've downloaded. And down here, it has, my choices are Calculator for 200 points, Dr. Mario Express for 500 points. And see where it says downloaded? That means that I've already downloaded those things. And, oops. I guess I can look at a game listing right now since I accidentally clicked on the Mario uh, calculator listing. See at the bottom it says just information. If I didn't, if I had not purchased the Mario calculator application it would have said something different like point, it would have given me the point amount and then purchase or something like that. But here's the top with details about the game, how many, or the type of game, well, DSiWare, that's the only thing on the DSi shop as far as I'm aware, how many points it costs, the game title, or the software title, the publisher, the release date, how many players you can have with it, uh, the category, and then it has pictures. And then it says, Mario and Luigi take a break from their regular adventures to dedicate their heroic ta talents to working with numbers. Mario Calculator features the full functionality of a traditional calculator, including a memory key and the ability to display up to 13 digits. And adds an a layer of atmosphere reminiscent of the original Super Mario Bros. Use the unit converter to turn one unit of measure into another, such as length, weight, volume, age, and others, or track the history of calculations you've performed with these. 
listen to the Mario related sounds and watch the coins fly as calculations are performed. Now to get back to adding up those high scores. Content available in English, French, and Spanish. Now the other games I've downloaded are these two and then these two. Now if you want to go back to page one quickly you can actually instead of going all the way back to the left you can actually go all the way to the right and then it'll wrap around to page one. I don't know if anybody has ever noticed that. I noticed it while using the DSi shop. Now if you hit this button this will go to the uh, shopping guide. But we don't want that right now. If we hit this up arrow, it will take us to, I think, the welcome screen. No, it takes us to the main menu. I'm going to go back into settings, go under account activity. Now, if there's any personal information in here, it will be blocked out. And on the top it says account activity and on the bottom it basically tells you what you did. So on September 14th, 2011, I bought the calculator. Actually, I'm going to go start from the beginning. On March 25th, 2011, nearly six years ago, I made my first Nintendo DSi points purchase with a credit card of 1,000 points. And then I bought Plants vs. Zombies for 800 points. On that day, on that same day. And then I bought Mario Clock for 200 points. On March 26th. And then on March 27th. I bought another 2,000 uh, points with a credit card, or debit card actually. It just calls it a credit card. And then on March 27th, same day, I bought Mario vs. Donkey Kong Minis March Again. I think that's the game. Yep, that's what it's called, and it's 800 points. Now, most of these games are still available, are going to still be available in the, in the Nintendo eShop on the Nintendo 3DS. So you can buy them on there if you would like. On April 6th, 2011, I bought Mario Calculator for 200 points, and that dropped me down to 1,000 points. On April 6th, yeah, April 6th, I bought, I also bought Mario, Dr. Mario Express for 500 points, and that dropped me down to 500 points. On the same day, I bought Game & Watch Mario's Cement, Mario's, Cement Factory. Yeah, Mario Cement Factory. See? That's what it looks like. And then on July 19th, 2011, I downloaded the Nintendo 3DS transfer tool. I was going to use this, but then I got a 3DS and didn't transfer it. I'm not entirely sure why. And then 
I only had 300 points left and I bought the calculator for 200 points by sign max or something on September 14th 2011 and then that left me at 100 points with no way to regain my points because I never wanted to increase my points I never wanted to increase my points so This allows you to wrap around here as well. If you click on the title of something that's a game or an application, it goes to the listing. But if you click on credit card, the credit card button on the um, purchase history, it'll take you to the um, receipt. In the next video, I'm going to actually go into the DSIware section. Uh, see you in part five.